All right, time now for the Hannity hot seat. It's back. I know leftists, socialists, Democrats, the media mob, they are loving the Republican infighting on Capitol Hill, but they may not want to cast stones from a glass house. If there's one thing that we can say for certain tonight is that the Democratic Party is a disaster filled with till the brim with nothing but liars. For example, remember Biden's pledge not to raise taxes on the middle class? Well, here are five taxes that went into effect in January. That includes a new multi-billion dollar tax on those who power their homes with natural gas, uh, a $12 billion tax on crude oil, another billion dollar tax on coal, a $71 billion tax on your 401k and your retirement of funds that had the worst year since 2008 last year, and $225 billion, a corporate tax hike that, by the way, corporations won't pay. They will pass it on to you. But don't worry. Good news from the beyond the grave in New York, where Democrat Governor Kathy Hochul She's now made it legal to compost dead bodies at your house. I didn't make that up. Here to respond, our liberal friend, co-host of The Five, Jessica Tarlov. First, you can gloat if you feel like it. You know, you're probably very happy that there <laughs> okay, was great. chaos. What's that? I said, okay, great. I'd you, like some you, gloat You time. thought today was great, right? You loved it. It was a good day uh, for Democrats, for sure. But I listened to your monologue, obviously, and it seemed quite balanced about it, that today was a bit of an embarrassment. But hopefully they can get it together. And I would imagine that those 20 pizzas or something got delivered and, and they're working on a plan. But obviously the fact that Kevin McCarthy is losing more votes as the day carries on because people see that he's not going to get there in terms of the numbers is uh, quite disheartening for Republicans. All right, let me ask, all right, if you're gloating about that, let me ask you about this. 2022 was the worst year for the stock market since 2008. Uh, the CBO has found that Biden's inflation cost the average American household $10,000. And Joe Biden did make a promise that I'm sure you remember that he wouldn't raise taxes on those making uh, under $400,000 a year, a family, a couple, but he raised taxes on natural gas, on crude oil, on coal, uh, on people's IRAs and pensions, and corporate income taxes, which means that all of that money will be paid for by people that make less than $400,000 a year. Um, are you happy with Joe's record and performance in two years? Isn't $10,000 in, in Biden inflation tax high? Shouldn't he have kept his promise not to tax people making under $400,000 a year? There was a lot in there. So I'll start with the things that we can agree on, which is that inflation was a huge problem and obviously the spike in gas prices, which I'm unwilling to say was just Putin's price hike, though it did happen on a global level, was a huge problem for everyday Americans. Um, they voiced that concern. The economy was the number one issue in the election. The problem was, for Republicans, I didn't think it was a problem that Democrats uh, held the Senate and kept obviously Joe Biden in power um, and lost the House by a slim margin, is that Republicans didn't put up a viable alternative. They didn't have a coherent set of policies that Americans but, believe but Jessica, would make them better off the day after. Who, who gets hurt the most when, right. when you have inflation? Isn't it the poor, the middle class, people on fixed incomes? When you tax oil and when you tax gas and when you tax coal and when you tax corporations and when you tax, you know, people that had the worst year in the stock market since 2008. Those are all taxes Joe Biden and the Democratic Socialists put in place. All of those taxes are impacting the very people that your fellow Democratic Socialists say they have the most compassion for. The poor, the middle class, people on fixed incomes. So the bottom line is Joe Biden lied to us. Joe Biden went back on his promise. It was such a big deal when George Herbert Walker Bush said, read my lips, no new taxes. And then he went back on his pledge. How come Joe Biden, how come you're a liberal Democrat? You're also an honest person. I've known you for years. Why can't you say Joe Biden broke his promise and it now will hurt the poor middle class and people on fixed incomes? I don't think that's really what happened here. So first and foremost, I don't identify as a democratic socialist, and Joe Biden is certainly not a democratic well, socialist. Well, hang on a second, that's but you, you admit he raised those taxes.
There were a number of incentives built in to being greener about your life, you know, moving to working with electric cars, natural gas, solar panels. But he has a natural gas tax. The numbers. He, but he has a crude oil tax and he has a coal tax. So people that heat their homes and cool their homes, they're all going to pay a lot more. That is being paid for by every American, regardless of income. I, well, right? Okay. I, it Checkmate. does factor you out. win? I, no, it's not. You shouldn't have done it? No. Well, no, I, I don't think so. I, I think that the transition was hurried along perhaps too quickly, but that we do have to, and this is something that it, we're in agreement with on a global level, that the environment is in danger, that we need to do whatever we can to lower the number of emissions. So even if that means breaking his pledge to, to not raise taxes on people that make— I don't think that that's the right— I, he broke I, his I really pledge. He broke his right word. Terminology for this. No, so okay. he well, said he wouldn't raise taxes on people that make less than four hundred thousand, on... and now he's raised taxes in five different ways and more. I'm only giving you the short list, and that's okay with you. No, it it's not okay for people who are struggling to get by to have their taxes raised. But that is not so what Joe broke his here. promise There's to those plan. people. It takes years. It's literally not say, what I said. And corporations, admit, can, by the way, are paying the lowest he, rate. Can you acknowledge that he broke his word? I, I mean, the segment is over. Uh, I, I, I really, I, I don't see it that way. I think that he offset a number of these plans by making sure that those in offset most tax increase? are protected. Did he give us a tax become, cut somewhere? Where did he cut taxes just, and offset it? I honestly, Sean, I. I need to look at the plans again. We were supposed to talk about burying yourself, composting yourself, and now we're back to tax plans. Well, by so. the way, don't, can you at least acknowledge that Kathy Hochul allowing the composting of dead human remains is kind of weird? I, I won't be jumping at the chance to do it, um, but I think that if people want to be returned to the earth, um, maybe that, that's a nice you know, final voyage, and you could you put, turn put, into a put tree grandma, or a garden or something like that. Throw a little like alfalfa that. on her, little little hay on her. Put well, grandma, and then we'll we'll plant flowers uh, and use it as fertilizer for our, our crops next year. Dead bodies, human bodies. All right. Anyway, great to see you, Jessica. Thank you. We appreciate it.